this is John. Uh, guys, I want to put a hold off on the one uh, parts one, two, and three videos on important information, important video about the uh, rapture and great tribulation. Maybe do a part three later, but I want to play this. Uh, I missed, uh, I'm very busy. I'm one of the drives in a family of four. Uh, well, my wife and me, she don't drive, and her mom and dad's uh, older people. Got a lot of health problems, and I have to drive them everywhere they go, doctor, and get their groceries, and get their pay their bills, and do all that stuff, plus stuff we do. So I stay very busy with that, and then other things, and doing these videos. So I'm sorry I missed the, the information. If you haven't seen it about the uh, Trump uh, activating the Marines for deployment and domestic deployment within the United States because of something they know is going to happen. Uh, supposedly and this guy i was going to play this video but he, he turns upside down in the video so i had to watch him the whole time upside down so i turned my auto um, rotate feature off the ipad and i'm gonna turn it back around for, right so you don't have to watch him upside down the whole time it was really it's very hard to watch upside down when he was upside down talking it's very strange but i turned uh, the auto rotate off so you can see it the right way but guys i've been under such heavy spiritual attack like every single time uh, I was praying about something if I need to quit, and I did, and I felt like I, the Lord wanted me to quit, something I didn't know if it was a sin or not, and I did quit doing it, and uh, the devil started attacking me and verified that it was a sin because when I quit doing that, the devil came at me with all his guns blazing, and I've been under such heavy attack, I don't even know if I could sustain. Guys, I don't even know if I want to make the rapture, for tell you the truth. So I'm trying my best, but, I mean, he's attacking me and stuff and showing me sin in my life. I didn't even know I had him because he's making me do things in my dreams like this. I didn't even know it was, it was in my, was within me that I was doing in my dreams. And he makes me do them. It's like my body's moving along in the dream, doing these things that's sick and things that I would never do in real life. And even in the dream, I'll be thinking, God's going to be mad. God's going to be mad. God's, God's going to be mad. God's going to be mad. Jesus is going to be mad at me. But it's like my body just keeps moving, doing the things, the horrible things I'm doing in the dreams and things. It must be deep within my heart and that I'm doing in the dreams that I would never do in real life because I know it's wrong. And I just keep saying it. And, and I'm, some of the dreams I'm saying, God's going to be mad. God's going to be mad. Why am I doing this? And my body just keeps moving along in the dream. It just keeps doing these horrible, horrible things. Guys, pray for me. I'm under such. I mean, yesterday, last night, not before last, uh, day before that, not before that, last night, day before, yeah, uh, last, day before today, yesterday and last night every time i went to sleep i slept quite a bit yesterday during the day every time i fall asleep it's more attacks more i ain't even gonna tell you the dreams horrible stuff when i go back to sleep every single time i'll be in a dream doing horrible things i need prayer guys i don't know if i'll make the rapture or not i just like i mean i feel so horrible for the things that uh, satan's must it must be in within me this uh, uh Darkness. Pray that the Lord delivers me from this darkness. I prayed that I prayed that I laid at the Lord's feet and I prayed for Him to take it out of me and deliver me, deliver me from this darkness in me. Uh, that I didn't even know it was in me. I know some of it was there, had been there, and then once the devil attacking me and showing me these things in my dreams and me doing them in my dreams, it must be still in there somewhere. So pray that the Lord delivers me from all those things, guys. Uh, I, I'm just praying that the Lord helps me. I, I've been focusing so much on helping everybody else. I thought that's, that's what the Lord's all about, isn't it? Him loving other people and trying to help others. That I should have been concentrating more on myself, I guess, to get rid of this uh, things in myself. But guys, pray for me, please. Let's pray the Lord helps me. I feel like I'm I'm juiced out. You know, if I, if it goes on, I'm left behind. The way I hurt and stuff and everything else and everything, the way I'm suffering and everything else already, I feel like I'll, I'll end up in hell, and I don't want to end up in hell. I want to go in the rapture because I, I put everything I have into this to doing my part for the Lord, and I'm just I'm, I'm out of juice. I don't think I can make it through the time to get to the point. To come. If I cut my head off right now and I can prove to the Lord that I can get my head cut off for him right now and prove my love to him, I would do it right now for him, you know, and show him, but I don't think I could get through the Great Tribulation to that point, you know, to be able to get my head cut off for him while I'm professing his love. I'm, I'm out of juice, you know. I'm not to running on vapors. I'm just barely swimming and trying to hold my nose above water, and I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, you know what I mean? <laughs>
That's the way I feel, guys. So pray for me. My name's Jonathan. I go by John. It's Jonathan. All right, I'll start this, guys. He's telling about the U.S. military. Uh, and he talks some... I'll turn it back up right. I'll let you see it for a little bit upside down, how I had to watch it. Then I'll turn it upside right where you don't have to see it upside down, okay? Jesus in Christ and those who need to surrender and become my brothers and sisters in Christ. Jeff Byerly here with you again. I have a warning and then a message that... I just want to say, please, Lord Jesus, help me to be uh, found worthy to escape all the things coming on this earth and, to, and let me be found worthy. Lord, I pray that you let me be found worthy, worthy to stand before you, Jesus, the Son of Man. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of all lords. I praise your holy name, Jesus Christ. Please help me, Lord, to be found worthy. Lord, I need all the help I can get to make it through this. And to get, I'll, uh, I'll lay everything at your feet, Lord. Please take it from me now. Deliver me from all the bad in me and cleanse me and uh, purify me and fill me with your righteousness, Lord. I pray to be I hunger and thirst for your righteousness, Lord. The Bible says if we hunger and thirst for your righteousness, you'll fill us with your righteousness. Please deliver me from all unrighteousness and fill me with your righteousness, Jesus. As the Bible says, you will. I hunger and thirst for your righteousness, Jesus. I pray this in your holy name, Jesus Christ. Amen. I praise you, Jesus. Amen. The Lord wanted me to share with you today the warning I received from my friend Ken Roberts. Some of you may know him. This was published on October 5th. Um, he so I'm a little late. He used to be in the military. October 5th. And he sent me first thing this morning some um, kind of shocking news about uh, the what the military is doing right now. And I'm um, and I posted this on Facebook. Um, by the way, Ken was kicked off of Facebook late last year. I think maybe because he knows a little something. Um, what's going on, to just come out and say it, is that the military right now is looking to activate domestic deployment. And if you don't know what that means, that means basically the short of it is martial law. And uh, I'm going to just read. So, um, Ken, give me something from the um, Marine website. I also want to say real quick, uh, even the UN that's here shouldn't even be here. The UN shouldn't even be here. I even heard their troops getting ready to be activated here in the United States. They shouldn't even be here. And they've got equipment everywhere. UN equipment and UN troops have been training here for a long time. What have they been preparing for? Something, something they've been preparing for and have those troops here for. Which I can show you. We've been ready for a martial law. I can show you the article. Well, the article, like he says, not open. And this is also on quite a few other websites. If this is including true. Hal Turner, um, Dave Hodges has been reporting about it, and Trumpet News, I guess, has got something about it. I mean, if you do some research, you can find it pretty easily. But. There he goes, upside down, guys. You like to I see that the whole time? That maybe I didn't think you'd like to watch it like that. Some of you didn't subscribe to some of those websites, so I figure, uh, well, That's I was I told watch. by the Lord that I needed to warn you. So, anyways, here's what Ken sent to me. Good morning. This I'll turn is it around. huge. I didn't like watching like that. I know you don't, we don't need for to. For those who don't want to need of you not familiar I'll turn it right with military up, yeah. orders, That's why I, I have had read this entire order, and I am familiar with orders. I will explain it in layman's terms. Basically, this order is stating that military reservists will be activated in two weeks for a period of 30 to 
120 days. So two weeks from, I believe, yesterday. About October 4th. So that would be the end of October. The order states it will be for all branches, but specifies the Marines as it is an M-R-A-R admin marine order. So MAR admin marine order. I'm not going to speculate as to why it is a marine order, but I will say the Marines are the Praetorian Guard of the President. And I will leave it at that. For those of you who are veterans, I do, do not believe you need to be concerned with being activated as of yet. Nor will there be... I'm a veteran. But, uh, guys, uh, this video was published on October 5th, so he said the day before, I, I would put it two weeks from October 4th, I guess. So wait, I don't know what he meant, but I end October. I really didn't understand that part myself. Maybe you did. The address draft as of yet. However, if you are in the individual ready reserve, I would expect to be called to active duty soon. As of the order states that the IRR will also be activated. The good news is those due to separate from the service will be able to, according to this, and the requirements will not be held up. That's why I believe there will not currently be a recall of veterans or a draft. They wouldn't allow separation or retirements if they were going to recall veterans or instill a draft, in my opinion. I could be wrong, though, and I often am. That's a humble man for you. <laughs> but this is something I know about. My kids are of draft age, or will be, and as you all know, I'm a veteran under 50. These things are constantly on my mind. For this order, it is as real as it gets. I encourage you all to take the time to read it. For those who are uh, not familiar with military jargon or acronyms, I am available for questions. I don't know if he wants me to share his email with all of you guys. <laughs> um, uh, there are also veterans included here that I'm sending this to. Okay. I'm going to skip down. Uh, so be ready, be prepared, be prayed up. Very good advice. Because playtime is over. It is about to get very, very real in the good old U.S. of A. Think of the movie The Siege and last year's Hunter Killer. I don't know if you've seen any of those, but I personally, I've seen The Siege, and that was pretty intense. I think we're heading into martial law God bless and stay safe. And um, I'm going to put that into the description box along with the link to the um, Marine website so that y'all can all see it. And this is just another confirmation of where we are. Right now, things, I believe, are going to start getting very intense. And all the warnings that that I, as well as others, have warned about, that the Lord has told to warn, these are going to start coming to pass now.
and uh, we need to be ready. Now, how should we we be ready? I believe foremost, first and foremost, I should say, we should be ready spiritually. Yes, physical preparation is a good thing, but it does not take the place of spiritual preparation. You are not, let me repeat, you are not going to be able to prepare for every situation. You will not be able to store up enough. You will not be able to have enough weapons. You will not, I don't care if you have a bunker that's a thousand feet down in the ground encased in a hundred feet of cement. Revelation chapter 6 that says the rich man, the slaves, the poor man, you know, everybody basically will try to hide themselves in the caves and the rocks from the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they're not going to be able to escape. You will not be able to get through this without Jesus. Plain and simple. And I believe what he's been telling me to share with you over the last month is that you need to hear his voice. And uh, this message I'm going to read to you right now, uh, he gave to me in February 2017. And the title of it is, You Need... Apologize for the phone, guys. Let me just pause just one second. The baptism of the Holy Spirit for what is coming upon the earth. And I'll leave a link in the description box so you can read the whole thing again. And here it goes. I want my people to change their mindset from a physical mindset to a spiritual one. I want to transform you by the renewing of your mind. But... You have to lay everything down at my feet. I want my people to truly say, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I want you to know in your hearts that I am everything you need and everything that you want deep down in your spirit. I want you to realize that you are truly nothing without me. And nothing in this world can fill the emptiness that you sometimes feel. That is why you must be full of my spirit to overflowing. Then there are, is no emptiness, no loneliness, no longing for companionship, companionship. No yearning for the arms of a lover. I am all of these things to you. Let me show you. I am your perfect lover. My love is spiritual, but it does offer physical pleasure, but not like the lust that this world calls love. Those who are intimate with me know how pleasurable my manifest presence is. And manifest presence is the presence that can be physically felt. I will give you peace that is unexplainable, for it is not of this world. I offer a sense of well-being that drugs can never give you. My spirit renews your strength. As you rise above the troubles of this world and enter into praise and worship of the Most High, as you enter in my presence, you will feel the weight and the warmth of my glory as I wrap my arms around you and tell you how much I love you. I desire that all of my children would experience this every day. I long for you to know how close I am to you. When you call for me, I am already there. It is not just a saying, it is the truth. Be baptized in my spirit. Ask me. 
I want to do this to you. This is the way that you will always know that I am always with you. You need the baptism of my spirit for what is coming upon the earth. Beloved, I will never do anything to harm you, your spirit man, but I will allow things to happen to your fleshly body if you allow it to draw yourself away from me. I have said, do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. For all these things the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you need these things. But seek the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added to you. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, is not of the Father, but of this world. Many of those who call themselves by my name have problems with putting money and possessions before me. It is not wrong to own things because they make life in this world easier and more pleasurable. But if these things own you, if these things are what you think about and strive for, am I your Lord? I am very grieved to say that if you have your best life now, that you will end up in the lake of fire, because heaven is many times greater than this world has to offer, and that is where your treasure needs to be. I am your good father, and I love you more than anything or anyone ever could. I love you more than you can even comprehend. I love all 7 billion plus people living on this earth that much. Yes, I know the number of hairs on each of their heads, yet very few of them know me intimately. In these last days, I want that to change. A good father disciplines his children so that even greater harm does not come to them. I am going to take away the things that have stolen men's hearts away from me. Nearly every modern possession and convenience will be done away with during this time of tribulation. Yes. I will have to use the fire kickoff event for this. Everyone will go through these trials at the same time, and most will not take it well. In fact, violence shall spread throughout the earth like never before. My children will show my love. When it appears many heart when it happens, many hearts will cry out to me and I will hear them. Yes, most will not, but because of the fiery kickoff event and the other events that follow, many more will come to me this way, and that is what my kingdom work is about, seeking and saving that which is lost. My transformed holy children, my intimate ones, will show them. All men's hearts will be revealed by the light of my children, and their light has come from me, the Father of lights. All is about to commence. Come to me for special instructions. And that is the end of the message. Now I want to concentrate the Lord has told me to concentrate on the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He wants all of you to have it. All right, guys, I'm going to stop right there. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Please pray for me. Please. I praise Jesus Christ. Holy, holy, holy name.